it's about. So that's it on your right. Now look on your left, this is the world famous shambles. This is why I had this running with York City Council. I wanted to show my passengers the shambles. That's the shambles on your left. And we're going to come back. All right, so get a second look at that. Now the shambles is said to take its name from the wooden ledges at the bottom of the windows that are called shambles. And the archaeologists say it's gone from shambles to shambles. Now shambles is an Anglo-Saxon word and it literally means ledges of meat. Now that was a street of butchers. So those ledges of meat were literally the medieval shop counters that the butchers would sell the meat off. Walk up the shambles, you'll see these wooden ledges, they'll have signs on like, please don't put your shopping bag on me, I've been here a lot longer than you have. And if you looked up to the top of the windows, you'll still see the metal bars where the meat hooks would have gone, so just look out for that detail. On your right hand side, this is the end of an archaeological dig. Before any new buildings go up in York, the archaeologists always have seven years access to the soil. And they found 2,000 years of history. At the top level they found back-to-back -back Victorian slums that were pulled down in the 1930s. Underneath that, Viking merchant warehouses. And underneath that, they found a Roman cemetery. On your right, this is a black swan. Beautiful 15th century coach in it. And the home of General Wolfe. He wasn't born here. He was born in Westrum in Kent. But most of his childhood would have been in that particular building. Okay, this is St. Cuthbert's Church. Ignore the big door that's open. Look on your left-hand side teeny tiny door, it's only about three foot high. So if you're at the back of the coach, look towards me and then look left. And this is called a little devil's doorway. So during a baptism service, if you put the water on the baby's head and do the sign of the cross, and the baby gives out a big loud lusty scream, we say that the devil is leaving the child. Now I think this is an Irish thing, because my grandma was Irish and she used to pinch us when we got baptised to make sure the devil had been screamed out of us. After the devil has left the child, they don't want the church to fill up with lots of little devils. So they leave that door open long enough for the devil to get out of the building because they were quite sure he didn't want to stop in there as well. You don't believe me, do you? <laughs> then a parent or a godparent would run and shut the door very quickly. The symbolism's lovely and the idea is you're shutting the devil out of the child's life. What I like though is the size of the door. I think I could cope with a little devil that size.